Hello, this video is on hypothesis testing, specifically on the t-test, with examples on one and two tail tests, as shown here in the syllabus. As with all hypothesis tests, the first step is to state the null and alternative hypotheses. When testing the mean of a population, the null hypothesis, H0, is that the population mean is the original value, and that value being 61 millimetres, as stated in the question. As Peter is investigating whether the average rainfall last year was higher than in the past, he's testing for an increase. So this is a one-tailed test. And the alternative hypothesis, H1, is that the population mean is greater than 61 millimetres. To find the test statistic and the corresponding p-value, we need to use the calculator. So from the main menu, selecting statistics, and entering the sample data into list 1. So that's 52, 71, 85, 83, 61, 65, 73, and 48. Pressing F3 for a test, F2 for a t-test, and F1 for a one-sample t-test. As the raw data was entered into list 1, press F1 to set data to list. Scrolling down and setting the null hypothesis that the original mean, mu naught, was equal to 61. And scrolling back up and setting the alternative hypothesis to greater by pressing F3. and pressing execute to perform the test. Writing down the value of the test statistic and the p-value, correct to three significant figures. To make a conclusion, as the critical value was not given in the question, we will compare the p-value to the significance level which was 10% or 0 0.1 since 0 0.399 is greater than 0 0.1 i.e. since the p-value is greater than the significance level we conclude that there is insufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis so we accept it and interpreting the conclusion in context, we state that there is insufficient evidence at the 10% significance level to suggest that the mean rainfall in April last year was higher than in the past. The assumption that Peter made refers to the underlying population distribution, i.e. it's assumed that the population of average rainfall in April is normally distributed. In this question, we begin by writing down the null and alternative hypotheses. When comparing the mean of two populations, the null hypothesis, H0, is that there is no difference between the means, i.e. there is no difference between the achievements of group 1 and group 2. As Mr. Arthur wants to know whether group 1 is either better or worse than group 2, this will be a two-tailed test. And the alternative hypothesis, H1, is that the population, population means are different. I.e., there is a difference between the achievements of group 1 and group 2. 
to find the test statistic and the corresponding p-value, we need to use the calculator. And from the statistics menu, if I press exit twice, and an F6 once, followed by F4 and F1, to delete the contents of list one, I'm now ready to enter the sample data. Enter the sample data sets into list one and list two. As shown. Note that the sample sizes do not need to be the same. Pressing F6 twice to get back to the main statistics menu, pressing F3 for a test, F2 for a t-test, and F2 again for a two-sample t-test. As the raw data was entered into lists, ensure the data is set to list. You do not need to set the null hypothesis as it's always the same, but scroll down and set the alternative hypothesis to not equal, in this case, by pressing F1. Then scroll down and set pulled to on by pressing F1. Then press execute to perform the test. Writing down the value of the test statistic and the p-value, correct to three significant figures. To make a conclusion, as the critical value was not given in the question, we will compare the p-value to the significance level, which was 5%. Or 0.05. And as 0.816 is greater than 0.05, in other words, since the p-value is greater than the significance level, we conclude that there is insufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis, so we accept it. And interpreting the conclusion in context, we state that there is insufficient evidence at the 5% significance level to suggest that there is a significant difference between the achievements of the two groups. When using a t-test to compare the means of two populations, the assumptions are that both populations are normally distributed and that both populations have equal standard deviations. The null hypothesis, H0, is that the population means are the same, i.e. in this case there is no difference between the mean times for the 8-year-olds and the 7-year-olds. As the teacher believes that the 8-year-old children take less time to read the piece of text than the 7-year-old children, this will be a one-tailed test. And the alternative hypothesis, H1, is that the mean time for the 8-year-olds is less than the mean time for the seven-year-olds. Pressing exit twice to get back to the main statistics menu, pressing F3 for a test, F2 for a t-test, and F2 again for a two-sample t-test. This time, as we have summary statistic data to input, we set data to variable by pressing F2. Scrolling down and setting the alternative hypothesis to less than by pressing F2. Then entering, entering the summary values for both sets of sample data. For the eight year olds, the mean was 7.8 minutes. The standard deviation was 2.3 minutes, and the sample size was 20. For the seven-year-olds, the mean was 8.6 minutes, the standard deviation was 3.5 minutes, 
and the sample size was 25. Scrolling down and ensuring that pool is set to on by pressing F1. Pressing execute to perform the test and writing down the value of the test statistic and the p-value correct to three significant figures. Comparing the p-value to the significance level which is 10% or 0 0.1 since 0 0.192 is greater than 0 0.1 in other words, as the p-value is greater than the significance level, we conclude that there is insufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis, H0, so we accept it. And interpreting the conclusion in context, we state that there is insufficient evidence at the 10% significance level to suggest that the mean time for the 8-year-old children is less than the mean time for the 7-year-old children.